Welcome to the first of several examples on how to solve two-step equations with fractions. We're going to look at each example twice, where one method will leave the fractions in the equation and solve it like any other two-step equation. And then for the second method, we'll actually clear the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common denominator and then solve. And what we'll see is the result will be the same. So for this example, we're going to solve this like any other two-step equation, which means to solve for x, or the variable, we'll first add or subtract to isolate the variable term, then we'll multiply or divide to solve for the variable, and then we'll check our solution. So looking at the given equation, since x is on the left side of the equation, our goal is to have the equation in the form x equals some number or some fraction. So we want to undo this plus three-fifths as well as this three times the x. So for the first step, we want to undo the addition. So the opposite of plus three-fifths would be minus three-fifths. So for our first step, we'll subtract three-fifths on both sides of the equation. So we would have three x plus three-fifths, then minus three-fifths, would be equal to three-fourths minus three-fifths. So notice how our first step, we subtracted three-fifths on both sides of the equation. So looking at the left side, notice that three-fifths minus three-fifths would be zero. So now we have three x on the left side. On the right side, we'll perform the subtraction, which means we have to find the least common denominator for three-fourths and three-fifths. So the least common denominator would be the least common multiple of four and five, which is the smallest number that's divisible by both four and five, which would be 20. So we want a common denominator of 20, and since four times five is equal to 20, for three-fourths, we'll multiply the numerator and denominator by five. So now we have 15 twentieths. And then for three-fifths, since five times four is equal to 20, we'll multiply the numerator and denominator by four. So notice now we have a common denominator of 20. So this difference will have a denominator of 20. And then the numerator would be three times five is 15 minus three times four is 12. So 15 minus 12 is equal to three. So now we have three x equals three twentieths. So now we have three x equals three twentieths. And since three x means three times x, we're probably thinking that we should divide both sides of the equation by three, which is correct, but since the right side of the equation is a fraction, instead of dividing by three, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal instead, which means dividing by three is the same as multiplying by one-third. So we'll multiply both sides of the equation by one-third. Again, the reason we're doing this is to notice that one-third times three over one, three over three simplifies to one leaving us with just x, and on the right side, notice how we also have a three over three that simplifies to one. So this product here is just one twentieth. So our solution is x equals one twentieth, which means if we substitute one twentieth into the original equation, it should satisfy the equation. So let's go ahead and check this. Three times x, or three times one twentieth, which I'll write as three over one times one twentieth, plus three-fifths must equal three-fourths. So here we have three-twentieths plus three-fifths, which we saw above would be the same as twelve-twentieths must equal three-fourths, which we saw above would be equal to fifteen-twentieths. Well, three twentieths plus twelve twentieths is equal to fifteen twentieths, and therefore our solution checks. Verifying our solution is x equals one twentieth. So that's going to do it for this video, but remember we'll look at this same problem where we first clear the fractions before solving for x, and what we'll see is the result will be the same with a different method. I hope you found this helpful.